Hey there, it's Seth Borko, head of Skift Research and one half of the Skift Travel Podcast with Seth and Sarah. And what's my favorite travel event of the year? Well, all right, I'm a little bit biased, but hands down, it's obviously the Skift Global Forum in New York City this September. I'll be there on stage presenting Skift Research findings and interviewing top travel executives. Join me and learn more at live.skift.com. Hope I can see you there. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Recent data suggests Americans are traveling in large numbers for Labor Day, and short-term rentals are seeing a surge in bookings for the holiday weekend, writes Global Tourism reporter to Hap to Merriam. More than 2.4 million nights have been booked on short-term rental platforms for the four-day period ending on September 1st. That's a 13% jump from last year, according to the data analytics firm AirDNA. Short-term rental daily room rates are up 13% from last year. However, short-term rentals at urban destinations only increased 1%, which AirDNA attributes to New York City's crackdown on the sector. Domestic travel for the Labor Day weekend is projected to be up 9% from last year, according to AAA. Next, American Express Global Business Travel is increasingly using AI to handle trip requests via email which can help free up agents to take care of more critical tasks, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. Chief Marketing and Strategy Officer Evan Conweiser said agents manually reading, routing, and responding to every message creates bottlenecks and inconsistent service. Natural language processing enables Amex GBT agents to categorize incoming messages accurately, such as urgent flight changes and routine invoice requests. AmexGBT is also benefiting as large corporate clients grapple with net zero commitments. It is developing tools to help corporations make travel choices that cut their carbon impacts. Finally, the Middle East is seeing a tourism surge, largely driven by an increase in Saudi Arabia, writes Middle East reporter Josh Corder. Saudi Arabia saw a combined 60 million international and domestic tourists in the first half of this year. Those tourists injected roughly $38.1 billion into the economy. Saudi officials didn't disclose the split between international and domestic tourists. The kingdom also has the most hotels under construction among Middle Eastern countries. Meanwhile, Dubai saw a 9% increase in international overnight visitors in the first six months of 2024 from last year. And Qatar saw a 28% jump from the same period. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening and help spread the word about the Skift Daily travel briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skift News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released. With more than 50 articles per week, exclusive feature stories twice a month, live events, podcasts, reports, and more, Skift is the source for global travel industry news. See what we've been up to at skift.com and stay ahead with the latest insights and trends shaping the future of travel.